Hey Fit Fam, Coach Rod from Team Flex. We're going to be diving into today the New York Pro Bikini and we're going to talk about our placings, talk about our athletes, talk a little bit about the criteria and why the placings landed the way they did and what it means for you as a bikini competitor out there in the NPC and the IFB looking to do your best at any level. Could be your first show, could be your 15th show, could be you're already a pro or you're trying to get a pro card. The stuff we go over in the video today will be relevant for you to know to help you do better on stage and that's what I do on this channel all the time. So so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Let's get down to business, all right? So here's our lineup. This is our kind of call out, right? This is an actual real call out shot. So I'm not using the single photos today. We want to look at the exact call out the same way the judges saw it. I think that gives you all as uh, you know, people watching better insight as well into actually how this criteria stacks up, okay? So here we go. We got Amy. She's our winner. Amy's been killing it in this circuit recently. She's just been show to show, win to win right that's really what she's doing and uh we just talked about her last weekend we're talking about her again seven days later another win for her awesome so she's right there uh that's stacking out nicely uh and then we got sharon over here number two um we're going over here to huyen uh in third and then we are moving out the line to lisa and then over here to valerie uh okay so those are our top five we're going to talk mostly about our top three but we're gonna just get into it. Let's go over criteria. Let's talk about bikini. So bikini, as we know, everything is about the hourglass shape. You know, it's the shoulder ratios, lower body coming together, and the waist being tight and tiny. This is what we look at across the board. If you're new to this channel, you know, this is this is stuff I do. If you're not new to this channel, we talk about this all the dang time. Hourglass shape. I'm not gonna hammer it too much, but it is coming from the foundation of muscle, all right? So you'll see in this lineup, a lot of variances in in physiques however all of them pull off the hourglass shape and I think that's the first thing you want to take home with you as a bikini competitor watching this video now get the hourglass and you get it from muscle okay so Amy you know really standout athlete here uh, coming to competition a lot of talk has been about her being too muscular in this lineup however you look at this she doesn't look too muscular you guys right like a lot of people say she's she's thick and she's muscular and all this I don't agree with that I think she's been pretty on par she's improving competition to competition and she really does show showcase the right muscularity for her frame as really do all the other athletes in this uh, this call out here in this lineup right so when we're looking at this top five at these big pro events you really do see a lot of similarities but let's talk about some variances all right so Amy again, uh, sometimes she can look a little bit too upper body dominant. Recently, her look's been pulling together tighter and tighter. I think this is her best at this competition, is her best yet I've seen of her, you know, where she really does have, you know, that kind of effect where the shoulders are now matching the glutes, matching the quads, matching that better. Waist is pulling in tighter than it has, okay? Sharon has a very comparable physique here. Sharon is really, really close, I would bet, in points uh, to Amy at this point here. This is really close in these this top three no matter what but definitely very comparable physique good roundness to the shoulder good tapering at the waist now where things look a little different to me is Sharon looks a little bit more quad dominant okay so I'm getting more of a kind of quad effect from Sharon here where it looks like okay maybe her lower body looks a little bit too dominant in this shot you know Amy does definitely look more balanced in this zone which again that's what bikini's about the hourglass shape that balance factor that effect that we want to see across the board no matter what Hu Yen really does have a nice symmetrical physique as well pulls it together nicely bit bigger in the shoulders tapers into the waist though lower body looks very dominant but it matches with her shoulders and that works just fine so in her you know physique and her frame it works well and we'll see the same thing with all the other athletes they carry differences in muscles out uh, but they all make it fit and so that's something I think you need to take home for you as a competitor a lot of different looks on here it doesn't mean you need to look like Amy to compete it doesn't mean you need to look like any of these athletes right because each one of them is really bringing their own look to the division in this stage and that's a big factor uh you know considering they're still top five at a bikini pro show all right so for you out there maximize your frame maximize your look maximize where you can now let's look from the back here because the back always tells the full story in bikini division 
And again, I think this is where Amy really stands out again for this win. So Amy here, she's got the ratios. Everything dials in nicely. Everything tapers good. All this is great. Uh, lower body, you know, where she stands out to me in this lineup is going to be in the fullness factor. So she's got the fullness to the upper glute, overall glute, uh, good shape here in the quad, everything, hamstring, all symmetry. It's all there. Now, uh, I think she's outstanding that a bit over Sharon in this shot. So Sharon's got the good glute shape, everything there, but her development looks to be a little bit less. So again, a clear message from judges saying, hey, we want more development. We want you to make sure that you realize bikini is not just about, you know, lifting a weight every now and then and uh, getting lean. It's not a diet contest. It's a bodybuilding competition. That's what we do. So bikini, you know, again, the shape comes from the muscle. So remember, go build that muscle. And it's funny to hear, right? Like a lot of people say, Amy's too muscular. Amy has too much muscle. Amy looks too developed. Well, she keeps winning shows, you guys. So maybe the key is to be more muscular, right? In bikini, take that home with you. Who you had out here? She's got a lot of that same thing going on, a lot of muscle. But again, you know, I start to see from the back that her glutes almost look too developed, right? It almost looks to me like more, a uh, lot more muscle on her frame. And it could just be her frame size and everything there. But it looks more muscular. And I think that that could, you know, push us a, another way at that point to where you could easily say, okay, well, too much muscle becomes an issue, right? And we do see that as we go out the call out, right? Like uh, Valeria over here in fifth, she looks very, very developed. Humongo shoulders in this sense, very developed glutes, very developed quads. And she's placing fifth, right? So again, the message becomes, hey, hit this on the head, hit the right amounts of muscle, don't overdo the muscle, don't underdo the muscle, and make sure you're in the right spot. And so again, hourglass shape, maximize your frame, don't push it too far though. And uh, really great lineup from these uh, ladies here. Sorry, we just flashed to wellness for a second there, ignore that. Uh, but you know, overall, really good lineup, really great example of the criteria across the board. I think it's a clear message that Amy keeps coming in and winning so many competitions here at this point, um, and she's going to continue on, let's be honest. Uh, this is, again, though, better and better pro competitions. It's one of the most competitive NY pros I've seen for bikini probably ever. And it is definitely a really clear example of where the criteria is going. All of these ladies in this call out here show that well. Uh, I think the message becomes hourglass shape in bikini, but your hourglass. Where is your hourglass? How do you get it? You don't need to look like these athletes. You don't want to look like them. How do you figure out what the best hourglass shape is on your physique? And that's really the message that you need to bring home and start applying to your training and everything else, all right? So uh, let me know what you guys think. I want to know about the placings. What do you think? Do you think Amy, you know, continues to win uh, because she's clearly the best? Do you think that somebody else in this lineup should have won? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and thank you for watching. Coach Rye is out.